You want to give it rubs. You want to don't be scared to get dirty. You come in the kitchen, fellas, got to get dirty. Now look at that seasoning. Look at that juice. You see that juice? Now I told you now. All right, guys. So this is the finished product I have here. Nice and crispy. Look at that skin. Oh my. Oh my. Look at that skin. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Juicy. Oh, it's my favorite, y'all. Juicy. Look. Look. Just root the little duck. I, I, I got to rip a piece for them so they can see. Look. 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 Rest is all in the juice. Oh my gosh. Look at that. The whole skin come. Look. Look. You can't tell me the boy ain't do his thing. Look at that. Look at that. Now, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and you know what? Go ahead and share it to your friends. Tell them how we're doing. Leave me some comments. Let me know how I'm doing. Welcome back to Will T and Lee TV. Today, I'm going to be making some whole chicken. Let me slide it up over here on you so you can see that right there. That's a whole chicken for you right there. We're going to do some things to this chicken, huh? Y'all guys, some things to this chicken right here. So this is going to be my seasoning right here. I got some real lemon, 100% lemon juice. Bam! I got some right here. Is some soy sauce. Some good soy sauce. You know, it's real good. It, it, I'm going to show you. I got some Saison right there. This right here, Spanish seasoning, real good, real good. I got some onion powder, great value. We do like to greatly save money, so that is still good. Walmart. Walmart, in the house. We got some Mrs. Dash, table blend. This right here, she go blend some up for us. And we got some Badia Complete Seasoning. Woo! What well, that is right there, accent. This right here, mm, it's like, what is this, babe? What is this? It's a flavor enhancer. It enhances it's, the flavor of your food. It, yeah, it flavored it. So when I put any of this on there, I throw this on it, it's going to make it go pop. Yep. Like that right there. And right here, we got some roasted garlic, badilla. We do like to rock badilla out a lot because she is, she, she do, or I'm saying she because I'm speaking in reference of women that's cooking, but that company has some really good products and they're fairly easy with the salt. So we not... A family here that likes to eat a lot of salt because high blood pressure will cause body illnesses. We ain't, we ain't down. We ain't keen for that. We don't want to do nothing. So first, you want to make sure you clean off any excess fat off your chicken. You want to leave a little bit of fat on there because you do want it to render off. So you have your little broth, a little chicken broth. Because if you take all, all the fat away, then you're going to be taking a lot of your, your juices away. You don't want to do that. I'm going to start off with this accent right here. I'm going to go ahead and guys... I'm going to tell you, I don't really measure it. I just eyeball it. And when I go in, I eyeball it to, you know, to my taste. And I use items that don't have a lot of high salt content in it. So we don't have to really worry too much about a lot of sodium. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle across. Boom, grab them. I'm going to sprinkle across. I'm going to go grab it with one hand now because this is chicken. This hand ain't going to touch none of my other stuff, all right? So make sure if you're not using any gloves that you do use the proper safety because you don't want to get sick. All right. All right. So some roasted garlic. Go ahead and douse that up a little bit just like that. All right. Boom. Now turn them over. Hit that like that right there. Uh, stop it. Boom. So now I'm going to add some soy sauce because I want to rub that enhancer and that garlic. I want to make sure that it sticks, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Uh, 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 uh. Yes, yeah, just like that. And I'm going to rotate it. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Uh, 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 uh. And if you can, find some soy sauce that doesn't have a lot of sodium in it. And I just... Alright, so I'm going to use this here lemon juice. Alright, go ahead. Mm, 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 right over top. Look like it's washing it off, but it's going right in the bottom of my pan. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, oh, it's gonna bake in there. All right, go ahead. Depending on how much lemon juice you want, is how much you use. That right there, I like to get a nice little even coat on front side, back side, moving around inside my pot. Then I come back with a little bit more saison. Uh, I'm sorry, a little bit more accent. Apologize. Boom. Take it. Rotate it. Do it one more time, boom. All right. On the garlic, go come back one more time. Go like that, boop, 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 boop. Get your nice little coat, 
flip it, another nice little coat. Boom. So we are completely done with those four items. Let me show you how. Boom. That's how you do it, one hand. One hand shouty. Uh-oh. We're going a little buck wild right there. All right, so you want to season this. Now, this Badia does have some salt content, so do be careful when using this. This complete seasoning will become a little salty if you overdo it. So be careful when using this bedilla. All right, so I'm table blend. Mm, 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 mm. At the same time, I like to pull up, pull up that chest so I can, cause you see how that meat on, uh, up under that skin ain't nothing on that now. Come on now, come on now. You know you want that meat when you touch it. You just don't want the, the, the skin to be having some seasoning on it. You want the meat to have that flavor. And if you really want it to get real flavorful, you slide it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours and let it just soak into the skin. But if you really want it to hit that flavor, 24 hours. That's my golden rule. If you want it to have some flavor, 24 hours. Oh. And this onion powder, you can't never go wrong with onion powder. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Saison. We'll go ahead and... Go ahead and... And this right here is going to change the color of your food. It's going to change the color. So you be like, why my chicken orange? It's going to change the color. It's going to change the taste. And it's going to be, trust me, get, get, get some of the saison and see what it do. It's going to make you want to put it on everything. You want to put it on your, on your noodles, on your chicken, on your beef. Shoot, I even heard somebody say they want to put it on their cereal. Now I'm not joking about that cereal part, y'all. I see somebody do that, they, they might get a slap. Mine has that definitely because I don't know what that's going to taste like. All right, boom, boom. Hold that, hold that chest up. Mm-hmm. All right, you wanna, you wanna massage you. Make sure your hands nice and clean. Boom. You wanna, there you go. You wanna, you wanna give it rubs. You wanna, don't be scared to get dirty. You come in the kitchen, fellas, gotta get dirty. You want food that tastes good, you gotta get your hands dirty. You were talking about, I don't know how to do it. Well, you ain't gonna never know how to do it. You gotta go in now. If you don't really know how to cook, put the, put it on low and work up from there. Don't start off on high. Start off on high. You, you ain't gonna have no house. All right, start off low. All right, now look at that seasoning. Look at that juice. You see that juice. Now, I told you now. Bear with me now. Now, don't click off now. Before we go too far any more than that, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and you know what? Go ahead and share it to your friends. Tell them how we're doing. Leave me some comments. Let me know how I'm doing. Say, what's up? How you doing? That chicken look nice. What's up? All right. So now I got that chicken all nice and marinated like that. I'm going to slide it in the fridge for about an hour. Then I'm going to slide it in the oven for about... About two and a half hours. I'm gonna do it about uh, about 275, 300. I'm sorry, I said 100. I'm sorry, 275 to 300, and it's gonna come <laughs> out so juicy, it gonna fall apart by itself. So stay tuned. Be right back when I slide them in and bring them out. All right, guys. So this is the finished product I have here. Nice and crispy. Look at that skin. Oh my. Oh my. Look at that skin. Look at that, look at that. Look at that. Juicy. Oh, it's my favorite, y'all. Juicy, look, look, just. Look, look, I, I, I gotta rip a piece for them so they can see. You can rip a piece. I gotta, I gotta. Rip a piece of the wing. The wing? Why not that leg okay, quarter? Okay, we'll come. What you we'll come. Look, look at that. Look, look, look. Look. Breast is all in the juice. Oh my gosh, look at that. The whole skin come. Look, look. Look at that, y'all. Come on now. You can't tell me the boy ain't do his thing. Look at that. You How did Look, I'm just, go, I'm just gonna sit down to the, and I do want to make a correction. It's not 275, it is 375. And please watch this video all the way through before cooking it. So correction, not 275, it is 375 for two hours. Please make sure you do do that, because if not, you go find out why you should have watched the video all the way through. All right, guys. So till next time, thank you for watching Will T. Lee TV. Make sure you kick that like button, kick that subscribe button, 
and share this with all your friends. Peace.